Okay, hello everybody. I just thought I would do a quick uh, tutorial kind of on how I do some thumbnails and stuff. I've had a few people ask me how I, what I use to do these up in my videos. So uh, first things first, I use this. It's called uh, Pixlr.com Editor. Uh, it actually just got bought out by another company, so they kind of changed it around a little bit on me here, but it still works pretty good. Uh, but yeah, I can do uh, 80 by 720. Uh, if you've already made a template for a screenshot, you can kind of use it forever you want. But this is for, I'm doing one here for my Master Builder game I did with Night Flares. Uh, so actually, I'm just going to go maybe 1. Master Builder 1, 1280 by 720. Uh, transparent does doesn't matter. Uh, so yeah, get this uh, blank background. So right off the bat, my first layer, the way I do it is I will open the images layer here. And I'll go through my screenshots. And I, as I use these up, I drop them in there. That folder is massively full. Uh, but yeah, I took some of the master builder thing here. Uh, let's take, I don't know, what do we want here? It doesn't really matter too much. Uh, ah, I won lots of games, by the way. Uh, what's that? Oh, that's something else. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to take a, what's the best one here? Oh, that one here. Uh, well, that's got kind of too much stuff on here. Uh, just undo. So image, image layer. I'll take one here that doesn't have all the writing and stuff. There we go. That'll be a little better. Uh, so then you go edit, retransform. That brings up your size of your folder, your picture here. I'm going to stretch it a little bit, so I'm just going to kind of format it here. Get to the page a little better. Okay, and I'm. The way I use my templates, I have kind of a, a overlay that goes here, so I'm going to worry about that gap there. And then just click off and save changes. That layer is now applied. You can go back in here and modify layers afterwards. Uh, now I'm actually going to open another image, which is going to be my just kind of my stuff in my thumbnails here. So I have a generic template here. Pulls up kind of an overlay that I pre-made in the same program uh, using our wand tool. I'm just going to click there and go delete. Instant background behind the thumbnail. And then, um, which is layer again, keep adding here. So, um, this is Master Builder we played. Edit, retransform. Uh, for some reason, these squares are off center from what it is ever since the new update. It's kind of weird, but we're going to put this right down here. A little bigger here. I want these to stand out, right? Uh, let's shrink that down so those people can see those people's names, I guess. And go. By changes, yes. And I will also another layer of image. I usually put the logo of the server that I was on at the time. This is Mindplex. And I'll put that up here just so people know where to go if they want to play this mini game. Yes. And this is Netflix. First episode I put up these, not too sure if I'm gonna do a whole bunch of these, but I have my numbers that I custom made here. With some I'll show you how to do that in a second here. Where I get all those and where I get all these logos from as well. Uh, so we're gonna free transform. If you have free to store, you can kind of twist things as well. I uh, know you can spin it here, but you can like completely distort images to whatever you want. Uh, and then the episode one. And then I'll just add, I have, uh, add Nick Flair on there, because he was in there. We transform. Ooh, okay, we can put him upside down. And just put that underneath as well. There we go. And yeah, then I'll just go file. Save and see, I already saved that and turn the quality up all the way. And yeah, I mean, that's good enough, really. Don't want to get spend too much time on these, or else you're spending all your time on these. So I will save it there and save in with some other ones that I've made there. Okay, so and then you can go on and do the next one, the next one, the next one. Uh, where I get these words and stuff from is this right here cooltext.com. Uh, another free site once it loads up here. I'm sure it's lagging a little bit because I'm recording it. Uh, so there's, I mean, ton of automatically made ones here. Uh, but the 
thing a lot of people don't notice is you can like heavily modify these afterwards. Just take, uh, I don't know, where's a good one here? Take something simple here. This one's easy to edit. So yeah, whatever you write in here. Updates up here. There you go. Uh, yeah, you can change font. Click in here. You go through anything. Let's go famous. Okay, there's lots in here. And you can just kind of pick anything at random here. Let's go this one. Just click use, not download, or else you install it on your computer, which you can use for later. And then, of course, yeah, you can change your colors. Uh, each of these pre-made logos has kind of its own shading to it, though, so you have to keep that in mind. Uh, so yeah, pink, green, those always go together well, right? Ugly, uh, ugly brown there. Uh, if you want a higher quality, if you're going to make it larger, make sure you upsize this before you right-click and save. And you can keep note that these are always hollow, like uh, logos such as like these, or these ones here that have backgrounds you can modify. And other than that, you can change outline width, shrink that, so on. Uh, wrong way. There we go. That's what I want to do. Go way up. Makes a huge border around it. I can add blur, sharp edges, adjust these shadows. I mean, push anything you want. Alignment, you center it. Uh, if you want. Like really long words, you can go really long. Or if you want a layer, you can of course go like that and it'll bring it down. And then you can go down here and top center. I should center it here. So I'm just done thinking. Apparently it didn't. Top center. Center. There we go. That should go. For some reason I just want to go, but I'm pretty sure that should work it. I might have did this wrong, but yeah, just this cooltext.com and yeah, you get lots of fonts, tons of these, and you can actually go here. There is, was this one? Yeah, graphics generator. You can go here. This kind of neat thing, and you can add different logo layouts. You can actually make uh, logo headings and stuff like that as well, which is kind of neat. This has a lot more modifications you can do to it as well, and you can actually create here. Yeah, so that's what I use to make most of my screenshots and all that stuff. So yeah, uh, appspixler.com and the cool text. Graphics Generator. Yeah, have a good one. Thanks.